Hi, I am Dr. Vaibhav Deraje. I am a consultant craniofacial and plastic surgeon, Bangalore. Age is one of the most important factors in treatment of craniosynostosis. Now, treatment of craniosynostosis can be different for non-syndromic craniosynostosis and syndromic craniosynostosis. Let us focus on the non-syndromic craniosynostosis. Now, one of the most commonly asked question is at what age the surgery should be done? As I have explained in other videos, one of the most important factor for us offering a minimally invasive smaller operation and a safer operation is if the child comes to us before six months of age. Now, anyone who comes to us before six months of age, we are able to offer something called as endoscopic strip craniectomy and helmet therapy in single suture craniosynostosis. So this surgery is usually done anytime between two months and six months of age. Whereas if somebody doesn't come to us before six months of age, then the only option is the open fronto orbital advancement or cranial vault remodeling. And this surgery, the open procedure is usually done at around nine months of age. Why nine months? Nine months because we need the child to be grown enough to sustain a major operation and also we want the bone to be really soft and moldable so that the surgery can be done effectively. So for non-syndromic craniosynostosis, if we are going minimally invasive approach, usually we do the surgery between two months and six months of age. But if we are doing an open procedure, it is usually done around nine months of age. Now, some people ask us, does craniosynostosis happen after surgery? Now, this can happen. For example, some babies might have shunt operations done to, for their brain anomalies. Now, when that happens, the growth of the brain is restricted and also the skull growth is also restricted. This can cause fusion of the sutures. And we have seen in a few cases where there has been craniosynostosis after a previous head surgery.